Here it is again. I'm going to start the video again. Anyway, here's the date and the timestamp. It's Monday, 1918, 53 seconds, year 2023, June, the sixth month and the fifth day. Which is. Which is. Which is. <laughs> wicked witch of the east, wicked witch of the est, west, wicked witch of the north, wicked witch of the south, wicked witch of the southeast. No, no, all kinds of wicked witches. Because everything's really just a witch, you know. In other words, that's that's kind of like, you know, well, well, what is everything? You know, kind of like, it could be this, it could be that. Well, which one is it? Well, it could be this, it could be that. <laughs> so, you know, witches. Which is today, which is anniversary which is the national bankruptcy anniversary yeah the corporation the whole the whole in the, the it's the worldwide anniversary the corporation went bankrupt 1929 which is also known as the great depression <laughs> almost a hundred years ago and uh this is night this is 2023 so 2029 would be exactly 100 years so uh, anyway there are some that are predicting that we are headed into another great depression and it's going to be greater than the last one <laughs> you know and I have to consider that being a lawful judge that I am I hear all evidence and I listen to all stories, you know, all perspective, all speculation. And I consider, uh, uh, you know, that yes, this could happen. This, the story that, you know, that anyone shares has the capacity to, uh, to happen. Or has happened, or is the truth, or is not the truth, or partial truth, or it's a little bit there. It could be this, it could be that. Anyway, so, I got this tool. This is all I need, is just a regular roll screwdriver. And it's kind of got a nice sharp point on it. Because it's, I guess it's probably been scraped a lot. But I'm going to turn this, flip this camera the other way, and I'm going to reveal how I clean this roof over here. I don't use a pressure washer. I suppose I could if I wanted to. I could go out and get one. And, but I just use this screwdriver right here. See that? And it and it just scrapes out scrapes out all the all the moss. And I already cleaned this side of the roof over here with just this screwdriver. And a dustpan and a broom and a bucket to sweep all the moss that grows on the roof. Which it grows more on this side over here than it does growing on this side over here. And I imagine it's because this side over here gets the sunshine beating right on it. Which is setting over there in the west. But going through the sky it would be right over here which is exactly opposite this roof and it'd go all the way to the east where it rises and so the sun really beats down on this side of the roof so the moss isn't as green and it, and it isn't heavy it's actually quite burnt up but it's still in there See this right in here and so i can just pick it out with a screwdriver the flathead screwdriver see that I don't have to run no pressure washer. I don't have to run no gasoline. I don't have to run no compressed air. I don't have to run no water. And all I need is just this screwdriver right here. I can get all this moss. I don't have to use no poison. I don't have to use no moss remover, which is a, a type of fertilizer, an artificial poison, which gets all into the grass and the cats eat the grass. All kinds of stuff eats the grass. It gets into the waterways, gets into the rivers, goes all the way out to the ocean where all the wonderful fish are at. I mean, it's just quite a pollution hazard. So, so see this? I just get in here and I just have a wonderful time on the rooftop. You know, I used to be in church and all that shit, you know, and, and in church, they, I, I, I learned all this, this
this favorite saying in church. They said, you know, proclaim everything that's in the truth from the rooftop. That's in the New Testament. <laughs> and, and, and some say, ah, you can't literally take, you can't take that literally, brother. Otherwise, everyone would hear what's being said and know, and know exactly what's going on throughout the whole universe. If I got on the rooftop and proclaimed all the truth that I know from the roof cro rooftop. Can't take the Bible literally, right? <laughs> well, what difference is it is than being on TV or on a stage and there's tens of million people that watch TV and listen to someone tell what truth that they think that they got or the story that they got. What difference is it? One's kind of artificial television world and one's kind of reality right, right in the neighborhood where I live. One has to do with everything going on over, over somewhere else where I'm not there. And one has to, one, one's going on with exactly what's going on right here in this town, in this neighborhood, in this county, in this state, or whatever it could be. You know, what concern to have what's going on 10,000 miles across the globe way on the other side of the world? I suppose there would be some concern, <laughs> but I think there's more concern with what's going on, what, I, what I'm dealing with right here on this side of the world. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I suppose there would be some concern. But anyway, <clears throat> so here I am on the rooftop cleaning all this, this debris, which, you know, I guess would eventually would eat through the roof contamination. It would eat through the roof and, and then the roof would start to deteriorate and and then the, the, the rain would come in and it would probably leak through and probably a leak on, leak inside the house during the cold, cold rain season. Oh my God, I'll be sleeping, I'll be, I'll be sound asleep. <sighs> Two or three o'clock in the morning, all of a sudden I feel this cold drip on the, on the head. All because I didn't maintain the, I didn't maintain this body right here. This roof is actually a body. It's no different than this human body right here. It's a body. And what I've found is it requires to be maintained or else it breaks down. All bodies. See this power line right here? This is a body. That telephone pole, that's a body. That tree, that's a body. That car, that's a body. That tire down there, that's a body. That grass, that's a body. And I suppose inside the grass, there's probably ants and bugs and spiders and who knows dirt all kinds of elements and what, what, what kind of what they got calcium nitrogen oxygen <laughs> all kinds of different bodies down there small tiny bodies big giant bodies see this whole sky right here this is a big giant body okay if i didn't maintain the sky it would probably start to deteriorate get all poisoned and all kinds of shit probably start to break apart might even be an outer space black outer 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 space black hole that sucks the whole sky away. So goes the NASA story. <laughs> anyway, so here I am proclaiming religiously. Now the dominant religion of the land is Christianity. It's the dominant on the west side. And probably throughout the whole world. Throughout the whole throughout the whole earth predominantly that's that is the dominant religion that has been ruling everything that's christianity that would be the modern jesus interpretation to a book that someone wrote called the bible called the bible but it's just a book that someone else wrote anyone can write a book Anyone can tell a story. That's what I figure. And just because someone wrote a book, told a story, doesn't mean that it is the absolute supreme truth. In fact, I'm look, I've looked into the story, investigated and audited this particular modern Jesus story so closely that I found that it's a spinoff the old ancient Catholic Church astrology version. 
which comes out of Asia. On the eastern side, the east, <laughs> over here in the west, the popular religion is the modern Jesus version. And it's very popular over in the east too. But what I'm saying is that thousands of years ago in the east, thousands in his story and her story, the popular Jesus being interpreted through that Bible book was known as the ancient astrology Jesus. And the Catholic Church knows that version very well. But it's going to be some of the elders in the Catholic Church and those at the high atop elite in the Catholic Church who what I see reports to an extraterrestrial alien higher intelligence force which could be something other than the thing called God could be something other than and I'm here to say gee I wonder what it could be Could it just be universal energy? And if there's this thing in, in universal energy that exists, that I call it, shouldn't there be a quality between all there is that's in the, this universal energy instead of something's always more powerful than what I am? And I have to depend on something more powerful than what I am? When... I probably had the same access to all the universal knowledge and the elements and the energy as the supposed master or creator or the ultimate higher power so that I would probably be equal in power to anything that's out there you know I would it, it seems, it's, it's, you know, it, I, I examined the, the, this concept called equality, and I think, wow. As a child, look how I was told a story that seemed to make sense till I really started examining it <laughs> and started thinking to myself, wow, this is not really equality what's going on in this society. In fact, it's a story that's uh, something other than equality. And it looks like a story called dependency. Wow. <laughs> to be dependent on something else to provide everything for me as though I don't have the capacity to learn everything that's going on in the universe and provide for the self. Now, I'm just as the judge nature that's that I that I that I like to be with. You know, I like to examine all evidence. All evidence. <clears throat> so, seeing so I have I feel I feel a need to maintain the roof on this house. So here I am on the roof of this this house top uh, maintaining this body this roof is a body no different than this body that I seem to be attached to also this this human body or being body or whatever the heck this body whatever it is whatever whatever I want to call it I guess right Soul body, spirit body, what, what the thought body, corporate body, corpse. So, you know, and, you know, as this video is being videoed on the anniversary to the corpse bankruptcy, June the 5th, 1933. That's the original national emergency which is attached to the 1929 corporate bankruptcy. When the corporation went, those running the corporation behind the scenes, behind the veil, the Wizard of Oz veil, in the Jesus, modern Jesus story, they call it the veil was ripped. Veil was ripped in two. 
so that one could see what's going on behind the closed doors. Anyway, so those individuals or those entities, that extraterrestrial, aliens, humans, militaries, governments together as, as a club and their leader, they went bankrupt. Bankruptcy number three, 1929. That's international, in the international realm. Every 70 years, the corporation has the opportunity to go bankrupt. If there is a debt that is created, put forth, and that debt is not paid off, a country, okay, an international ruling, according to the legal codes, this is in the rules to, their, to what they call their own book. A country that wants to become independent, and then to become independent, usually they have to borrow from the bank of the country that they're breaking away from. So the founding fathers that founded this country called the, you know, the Americas, it's even in the university history books. They borrowed from the English bank. Yeah, the same country they were breaking away from, England. That's the tax collecting king and queen, England. You know, the British are coming. Ah, oh, the British are coming. The British are coming. That's England. That's the, <laughs> that's, that's, that's that's common knowledge in the history books, in his story. Okay. But it's, but the banking aspects are not so talked about in the school system. A lot of that stuff is hidden. Okay. And that's where I come in to fill, the, fill in the gaps. And it isn't just me. There are many people that have been filling in the gaps for many years, many decades, many centuries. How the bankruptcy functions. So, the founding fathers had 70 years to pay back to the Bank of England, to the English bank. And when they couldn't pay it off, whether or not it was planned out that way or not, irregardless, then just it's just like uh, say say like I wanted to uh, I needed some money to pay to to pay something. Let's say I needed the money to pay something, and I went down to the local. Uh, on the street out here, they, they, they have these things called you loans or, you know, credit, credit loan check. In other words, they say, uh, you know, you want a loan? <laughs> All right. What do you got for collateral? And I'll give you a loan. You know, payday loan centers, you know, they're all out here, out in, out in the towns. It, it, it ain't no different than international banking loans. It's the same concept. Okay, so the founding fathers, when they took out a loan from the English bank for the country that they started called the United States, and this is the way it works for all countries when they started, they borrowed from the superior one that they were breaking away from. So anyway, when they wanted a loan from the English bank, the founding fathers, for the American countries, English bank said, well, what do you got as collateral in case you don't pay me back? And so just like out in town, the, they'll usually they'll ask for the collateral. They'll want collateral, the pink slip of your car. That's common knowledge out in the town. That's how it works. It's called collateral. In other words, you know, payday loans, these, these stores out here, they're called payday loans, you know, you know, yeah. In other words, you know, I get your car, I get the title to, to your car. They call it your car, uh, but it's really just the title to the car that you drive. But anyway, you know, basically they say you don't pay up, you know, I want the collateral as payment. Okay, now, getting back 
to the national bankruptcy. 1929, 70 years before that was 1859. That happens to be the same year that Oregon became a state. 70 years, that was bankruptcy number two. Okay, bankruptcy number one, 70 years before that, 1789. Bankruptcy number one, that was the first 70-year bankruptcy. And when I say bankruptcy, the word bankruptcy is the same idea out here at payday loans. The founding fathers or the American United States, the guys running that, corp that country or this country did not pay the Bank of England back the full amount that they borrowed. So they defaulted on the loan. In other words, they went bankrupt. And so the collateral for not paying up was called, not the title on their car, it was a title on all the buildings on the land that the American founding generation had gathered together so far, and it was over on the East Coast. In other words, they had to forfeit, forfeit to the Bank of England the title to all the buildings on the land. And that's what happened. And that was, that was the first step of how the English tax collecting king and the queen got their foothold on the native land over here. That's how the corporation functions. That's how they assume, you know, it's part, part of the assumptive jurisdiction plan. As I share all this, today is June the 5th, 19... 2020 or, or June the 5th 2023 which is the anniversary to June the 5th 1933 which was an adjustment to bankruptcy number three and what I'm saying is that on June 5th 1933 Birth certificate titles were created for all the humans in the United States. Birth certificate titles as collateral to pay for, yeah, the bankruptcy in 1929, which was the Great Depression. So the Bank of England, from that point on, assumed, because it's all just someone's story. This is all story stuff. A story is just the way someone wants to live and how they can convince others to live the same way. So as of 1929, after the bankruptcy, it came 30, 31, 32, 33, four years later, these titles were created to give to the English king and the queen. In other words, the people were the collateral to become slaves and be owned by the English king and queen who are subservient to those in the Vatican, who, from what I see, is subservient to some extraterrestrial in the universe. And some might call it God. Allah, Buddha, Muhammad, New Ager, Teenager, all kind of Ager stuff. <laughs> all right? Now, this is the story that I know is more than likely probably going on. And this is his story or history that isn't popularly taught in the public schools because it's supposed to be a big secret. Because for some reasons, uh, supposedly this big secret is the only way to keep order on this earth, supposedly. That's how the story goes. In other words, the slaves aren't supposed to know this. Otherwise, there would be no more order on the planet. The slaves
slaves aren't supposed to know that they're the creditor. They were put in the creditor position. Because that's what those birth certificate titles represent. And I could go into all kind of explanation on that too, but uh, <laughs> anyway. So here I am on the roof. The sun is setting over there in the west. And so it's, you know, that way it's nice and cool over here. <laughs> and so here, look. I'm scraping out all this stuff to preserve this body. See, this, this roof is a body. To, to, to uh, you know, so that this roof is maintained and it, and it lasts a long time. You know, almost to the point as long as forever. And there's no doubt in my mind that this roof has the capacity to last forever. Just as though this body right here, this human body, our being body, or where the hell this thing is, it all has the capacity to live forever and not become contaminated, poisoned, and corroded so that it whittle, whittles away. All these bodies, this tree, this bird, this car. In fact, most mechanical cars can last longer than a human body. And when I see that going on, I think to the self, there's something seriously wrong with that picture. How is this car more important than this living, this tree, this living tree? How is that mechanical car more important than that, you know? Or that's not really a question. That's what I see going on. This robot is more important than a soul? Than this, than this tree that wants to live and is struggling to live forever? And I'd like to add, without dependency or a savior just connect into the air to the truth that's going on access to all resources just as just as this robot down here has access to the resources that 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 car down there is just a robot that this longing to have more soul it's just a body that's still growing it's in a, it's a, it's in a very young stage very young stage now this body that's speaking on this camera with with more soul is it in a more older or mature stage throughout all the elements and the powers in the universe this tree right here is a little bit less although it, it's more soul than that car down there that robot car okay the birds are a little bit more than the tree <laughs> you know this is what i see going on anyway but uh, uh the neighbor's out yard working over here <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool anyway so Anyway, I just wanted that on the record, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put this this smartphone or this robot with less soul, <laughs> you know, this, this smartphone, you know, robot smartphone has all kinds of longing. This is what I this is what I see. This is what I feel. This is what I sense. This this smartphone longs to have more soul, to be able to move around, have legs, walk around, speak, and all that stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go hook the smartphone back up to the power down below so that the battery stays somewhat charged. And then I'm gonna come back on the roof <laughs> and continue labors. All right. Ah. Whoops! I think I left the silver thing up on the roof. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> I can always get the silver thing later. The main thing is to plug this thing in. All right, so here's the plug. Here's the plug right here. And then 
Pas fin. Pfff.